Roxy is aggressive and unpredictable. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Her friends think Roxy's a lost cause. People assume you're whack because your dog is whack. She's very interested in the visitors at the door, especially their dog, Romeo. Oh, look who's here. Let's do this here. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Hang on one second. Hold on. Okay. Okay, Roxy. Okay. The dog needs to go in the in the laundry room. Come on. Let's go. Sorry, baby. Get in there. You're okay. When she goes, okay. it is big, okay. it is intent to harm, and it, it's very scary. Oh, yeah. Now that Roxy is calm and Romeo is hidden away, Jennifer allows Roxy out for a bit of playtime. Trish is a great friend of mine. And I know that Trish doesn't like Roxy to begin with. It's really sad because Roxy is a sweet dog. It's just, I think she needs a little help. Trisha is concerned that Roxy might move on from snapping at her dog to her daughter. I'm hoping that Victoria agrees with me and that Jennifer should find a better home for Roxy. But look at this, watch, watch. You're a good girl. What if accidentally, while they're playing, that's one of my daughter's hands or something? A lot of dog plays very rough like that. It might seem incredibly rough and aggressive to us humans, but that is extremely normal dog play. Now, whether you should be playing with Roxy like that, is another matter. Roxy's aggression is towards other dogs, but it's not towards people. Just for now. How, how can you be so confident? How can you put my child's life in that much confidence that people aren't next? Roxy is not a people aggressive dog. So I think Trisha needs to understand that. D can Roxy relax? I mean, can she? does she like playing? Does she, what does she? She can relax if we're relaxed. She sits with us, she watches TV, and it's, and it's funny because none of my friends have seen her actually relax. But she can, she can easily hang out on the couch and she can play too. If we get her going with a toy, she loves to play. She growls. If it's you, not a good idea. If, if you dog. saw us play, you, would, you probably would think it's, it's hurting well, us. I would think it would be okay for you too. I just wouldn't want my daughter to, to play. Be, to because she growls. Play. I see your fear of the dog. And I think we can put something into place which is gonna make you feel a lot better. And uh, there's certainly a lot of work I'm gonna be doing with you. Definitely. I know, and I'm looking forward to it. You've got Alana's friends um, and some of the mothers who don't like their daughters coming around to your house because they're afraid of what Roxy's gonna do. I'm freaking out because she's such a sweet girl and deserves the best. I just need to figure out the first step and get back on track and give her the life that she needs and deserves. Now she wants to show Jennifer and Alana a whole new way to play with Roxy. Even though you play tug of war games with her, you need to be aware that when you're playing the tug of war game, you are teaching your dog to grab, hold and shake. I want to show you play that is karma. Tug of war is great to play with dogs that have more control over their impulses. But tug of war is teaching Roxy to really grab and tug and pull and shake. And this is what this dog does not need. I'm going to do a little intelligence game with Roxy. It's a very, very simple one. And I want to see whether you, miss, can find which cut the treat's under. Can you just get her to your side with a treat? That's okay. Lay down. Alana, come over here and hide a treat under one of the cups, okay? Now, Alana, tell Roxy to go find. Roxy, Roxy, go find it. The cup game allows Jennifer and Alana to play with Roxy without getting her overexcited. It's difficult now because they all smell. Okay, she knocked over the first one. Doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> I don't have anything in it. Oh, oh, you got it! Right. Good Clear girl. Your face. Roxy did really well with the play. I think she really enjoyed trying to find the treat underneath it, the different cups we had. And this is just a great bonding game that you can play with your dogs. Tests your dog's intelligence too. I loved it. Roxy is going to love playing that game. I have never thought of doing something like that with a dog. I think Roxy picked that up very quickly and she'll love to play with it more. 
She really uses that nose of hers. And so that's why I think she's going to really like playing a game like this. Obviously, we don't want her to oh, eat the plastic she, cup. She wants to go eat the plastic cup now. Yeah. Roxy! Unfortunately, Roxy is looking for a game of chase instead. This is not what we wanted. No, it's totally yeah. not. Don't chase her, don't chase her, don't chase her. Darn, I don't want her to eat the plastic thing. Yeah. But Victoria isn't happy. She distracts her with a treat and puts the game to an end. The other thing you can use are maybe ceramic cups that she can't take and that, see, I have to say, plastic. Plastic is just feels so good for a dog. Having mastered the game with plastic cups, now Roxy is ready for round two. Made with hide it. These new games that Victoria is showing us is good for me, it's good for Alana. She loves to play games. So this is one now that she can play with Roxy. Good girl. And it's calming for the whole family. We can just sit here and not get Roxy all fired up. So I, I think it's gonna be great. Come on, baby, get it. She knows it's underneath there now. It's just a little harder for her to knock that over. Oh, and use your paw. Use your paw. Oh. Here, if I, that's it. Good girl. Use your paw. Did she get it? She got it. Oh, she got it. She got it. Wow. Good girl. And I want you to be able to impress your friend, Trisha, so that she can see Roxy for what she really is. Later in the week, Victoria assesses the family's progress. Who is it? Oh, Roxy's so happy. Come on. Today, Jennifer has invited Trisha back to the house to see how they've learned to play okay. safely with Roxy. Ah, the cup game. This keeps her focused, whereas the tug of war game just gets her hyper and overexcited. Go find it. Roxy, go find it. It's so cute. It takes a little patience, but Roxy is determined to earn her treat. Get it. Get it. Yay! It's so cute. But it's better than tug of war. I'm feeling better about Roxy, and she does seem a little bit calmer. Go find it. And I'm feeling better about my daughter coming over to play with Alana when Roxy's around. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I almost fainted. I was so excited to see the two of them connect, and that's all I was hoping for. Roxy, let me see your teeth. Smile only mama could love. I hope now that Trisha's maybe coming around to the dog a little bit more. You have a good dog here, no matter what anyone tells you, because they don't know. You know, I know. All right, so well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, I'm gonna leave you now. Okay, um, Alana has present. something for you. Thank you. I'm sad that Victoria's leaving, but I have all the tools now, so I'm just gonna invest everything, my energy and just do what I can to help out Roxy. I think I'm headed in the right direction. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well done. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. When I first came here, there was a lot of stress. There was a lot of tension. Jennifer seemed to be completely out of control. Roxy was all over the place. And now that I'm leaving, I'm setting them on a path. And I think the future's very bright. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.